So in this video, we're going to go through how we're going to hit our dowel series uh, for a little bit of shoulder and scapular prep. Uh, so the first thing, we'll need a dowel. If you don't have a dowel, we can get through with a resistance band. Um, and um, it'll be pretty much the same exact motions, um, just with the resistance band, medium tension, um, not too light, but nothing too thick either. Um, but we're going to use a dowel today and we're going to get started with scapular rolls. So we're going to take that dowel and we want to set it just, uh, just inside the thumb there. And we're going to bring those thumbs up or those hands up in line with the shoulders. And from here, we're just going to draw a nice big circle all the way through the scapula. So the hands come all the way out, raise the shoulders, pull back and drop down. And as you can see, my hands aren't dropping or raising in height. We're trying to keep them in line with the shoulders. And we want to go 10 reps in one direction and then we're going to reverse that process right back the other direction. Take your time with these. You should feel a nice big stretch there through the scapula. You should feel everything working through the shoulder blades. And once we finish up 10 times each way with that, we're going to work right into over and backs. So we'll take a nice wide grip here. And obviously with the last one, if we have uh, no dowel, we'll just do the same exact motion without the dowel. Um, but this is where we'll take the resistance band if we don't have the dowel but do have the band. Um, so standing up nice and tall, wide grip on the, the dowel or the band. We're going to come all the way up, over, and back. We're going to do that 10 times as well. And now if we have any trouble with this, we don't have to come all the way back down. So if you're coming up and you're finding that this is a little painful as you come back, don't push through pain. I want you just to go to where there's a nice big stretch, but no pain. So if we're only coming about halfway, no problem. We'll build into it and we'll build on it. Um, but once we finish up 10 reps with this, then we're going to work into what's called a, the around the worlds. So with the around the worlds, start in the same exact position that we were in for the over and backs. But now one hand's going to come up and around the body. We're going to bring that opposite hand back with us. And we'll just reverse that process right back around and bring that opposite hand. And again, same thing here. We can always ease up and we don't have to drop back quite as far with these around the world. So if you find that it's a little troublesome or a little tough, just circle the head at first and then allow yourself to start coming all the way around to the hip. But we want to run this for 10 times each way as well. Finishing up one or two more just so we get a good idea with it. Cool. And then the very last thing that we'll do with this little dowel series is we're going to take that dowel behind us. Palms will be facing away from the body. And again, we want to stay up nice and tall, no slouching here in the posture. So we're up nice and tall. And then we're just going to simply pull those shoulder blades back and together and push that dowel away as far as we can. Again, we don't want to dump forward as we do these or extend in the hips. So we stay tall. We're just going to push that dowel back and away. Nice little stretch there through the front of the pecs. Feel the triceps working a little bit. I'm going to go 10 reps here as well. And then that'll conclude the dowel series.